Hi guys and welcome to this video on energy flow that we're doing for our environmental unit. Glad that you are here listening and learning. Well I've got a picture of Superman there for uh, you and I wonder if you know why he's there. I wonder if you know where Superman gets all of his energy from. And yes, it's the sun. Superman gets all his energy from the sun. And you know what, guys? We are actually a little bit like Superman on Earth. Ultimately, everything on Earth really gets its energy from the sun. Okay, and here you go. Let's have a little look at this, guys. All right, the wonderful thing about the sun is it, it's a big ball of hot glowing energy that rests in the solar system and actually here's the next wonderful thing we've got some grass down here and I wonder if you knew this or not grass actually grass actually eats sunlight you or me uh, we don't eat sunlight we just get burnt but grass has got special uh, uh, cells inside it and small cells inside those cells that are engaged in a process that is actually called photosynthesis. Now, it's a big word, but what it basically means is the grass is eating the sunlight. It literally turns the sunlight into energy. You and me, we eat cakes and meat and hamburgers and we get energy. Grass gets its energy from the sun. Just like Superman. Superman is in fact like grass. Okay, you won't see that advertised in the new uh, Superman movie. He's just like grass, but he is. Grass gets its energy from the sun. So does Superman. All right, so how do we come into it? How do we then get energy from grass? We don't. I don't eat grass, Mr. Burns, you're saying to me. You're right, you don't eat grass, though some of you might actually if you go to some crazy health shops. But this is what happens. You don't eat grass, but Mr. Cow does eat the grass, and he loves it. And he stores it in his body as energy, as fat, as his as his muscles and bone. He 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 converts that energy into his own body. So we get the energy going from the sun into the grass, then the energy goes from the grass into the cow. Now I bet you can work out where we come along. Okay, here you go. Who's this handsome teacher? He's come along and he's thirsty, so he's going to drink the milk from the cow. And then after he's had a drink, he actually uh, takes the cow to McDonald's and they make it a hamburger. And he eats the cow. So the energy then goes from the cow into Mr. Burns. And he is indeed well fed. And you can see, of course, the energy goes from the sun, one, to the grass, two, to the cow, three, and then yes, into me. So I'm living off the sun. I'm living off the sun too. That's where I ultimately get my energy from. And that's the same for you. You only eat plants or animals. That's all we eat. And they're, of course, fed by the sun. Oh, look, if you're feeling bad for poor old Mr. Cow, don't feel too bad because you know what? Eventually this handsome teacher, well, he is going to expire. He is going to die one day. And then... He will decay and his body will turn into nutrients which will be absorbed by the ground which will in turn create some grass. And then Mr. Cow will come along and he will enjoy that grass which has been fed from the energy that was in Mr. Burns which of course ultimately, remember, did come from the sun. The sun is the starter of all the energy on Earth Year 5. Remember that. That's the key lesson point. But Mr. Burns, I hear you say, what about wind energy? Doesn't that come from somewhere else apart from the sun? Yeah, well, guys, the wind only blows around because there's different uh, temperatures on the globe. So often, uh, if there's a cold area of the globe, uh, the wind will, will the, the hot wind will go to where the cold is. And, of course, the hot and cold uh, parts of the Earth are controlled by, you guessed it, the sun. And there you go. 
there you go you've got the hot wind blowing where the cold wind was and the cold wind going where the hot wind was okay they chase each other and that's of course controlled by the sun what about hydropower mr burns that's not controlled by the sun well guys i've got some news for you you see all that water there if we didn't have the sun that would just be absolutely frozen that wouldn't be moving around causing any sorts of energy anywhere and remember water is a bit like wind too hot water moves to cold water and vice versa once again thank you mr sun mr burns what about these guys coal what about oil what about gas they're not sun powered well have a think where they came from guys you know where coal oil and gas come from have a think that's right right what a coal oil and gas think they are really just very 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 old compressed gassed dead animal and plants dead animals and plants that's all coal oil and gas are they're just they're just crushed compressed or or they're dead animal and plants that have turned to gas over over millions of years that that's what coal oil and gas are dead animal and plants but really really old versions and of course where did those animals and plants originally get their energy from of course they got their energy from our old friend mr sun so guys, that's the take-home message for you. Ultimately, on Earth, everything we have is really powered uh, by the sun. Now, there are other forms of energy, things like nuclear energy, and we'll talk about that. But mostly on the Earth, everything is driven uh, by sunlight. That's the source of most of the energy we use, and certainly the energy that you and me use. All right, guys, thanks for listening. I'll talk to you later.